Good evening. Good evening folks and a very warm welcome and thank you for joining me. Thank you for watching this. If you indeed watch it. Uh, pardon the state of the shirt, it's not too bad. I've got paint on it. Uh, right, so I've got my motor board done. Nicely painted. So now we can we can start to assemble. Just try my best not to scratch it while I'm doing it. So what we'll do first, we'll start. And what I've done, I've epoxied these standoffs, uh, spacers even if you like, uh, onto the motor board. And that's a bit stiff. They were stiff to start. I've not got epoxy on them. They were stiff to start with. I hope I can get the screwdriver in there. I don't want it to slip. I think it's got dirt in the feds. It's certainly not glue because I was careful. Yeah, it's got dirt. You can see the, you can see the threads a bit mangled there. Yeah, the thread's a bit mangled. Take this next one out. So I was careful to not get epoxy on the threads. Uh, but sometimes these things happen. But. Uh, well, that feels all right. Yeah, that's coming out nice. See, that one was nice and clean as well. It's just that fucker, I think it's got damaged thread, to be honest. Yeah, you can see where the thread's a bit damaged. That's the problem. There you know is. Right, this is the amplifier, but you all know that. And if you don't, then you shouldn't be in this line of work. Anyway... What we're going to do, we're going to fit the amplifier. Um, mm. And that's a bit out of line. There we go. Make sure we're not catching anywhere. No. No, we're not. We're all right. That's it. Yeah. Right, and that keeps the circuit board. That keeps the circuit board from uh, touching the motor board. I was going to cover this, but I decided against it. I don't want to tighten them too tight, obviously, but we get this. It won't take long to assemble this, um, hopefully. Make sure that the whole lot's not turning. That's good. Yeah, that's. Yeah, there we go. I need to press him down a bit further. This amp has been completely rebuilt. Uh, there we are, look at that. That's nice. And that's nice, they don't catch. 
it would have been nice to would have been nice to cover these two screws but no worries i didn't bother countersinking that one because it's going to be uh hidden by the mechanism which we're going to put in uh in it which we're going to put in now actually well that's not it i have still got to put a clip on here because i'm one missing i'll find one for that in a bit and we'll put that in there we'll turn that around drop that down right let's get this in position because I don't want to I want it in the position it's meant to go in that I cut the holes for otherwise there's no point you may as well just fucking not do it right there we go now all we do we get the screwdriver and we tighten up our our screws I can only put two screws in it because I made a bit of a fuck up when I cut the motorboard but that's okay two screws is good enough to hold this that's it right now we'll find a clip for there and a washer uh, we've got anything we can nab off I've got a feeling that uh, yeah I think that'll do for the clip anyway I don't know about the washer but we can nab a clip off we can nab a clip off here, but all washers are a bit big. So we, but we can certainly we can certainly nab a clip. Nabbing a clip is no problem. Uh, there's a nice little switch on this as well. I'll have to remember to take that before I fucking throw this in the bin. I need a washer and I'm gonna have to try and have a look around the workbench see if there's one knocking about we've got the clip there's usually washers knocking about we've usually got some uh, put that up there out of the way a minute do 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 there's one there's one and that's one of the ones that you do use it's one of the correct ones for it Probably is even the what even the one probably. Yeah, that's perfect. Lift this up. I've got my tea on the go, folks, so I'm probably not gonna be here that long. Oh lovely. that's supposed to go in it's not going in and the washer's the right thickness so why is that not going in that's why and that's why because the washer under it is not seated because there's a washer under it as well and that one's not seated so I'm going to have to pull all these ones out I 
and pull the motor out. That's no big deal. That's no big deal, folks. I mean, let's lift that off there. And that mo that washer there is actually thinner. It's actually thinner. That tapers. So let's try that one. I think that's the right one. Yeah. That's it. The washer actually tapers. Believe it or not, despite the fact this has got a bit of rust on it, this is actually a brand new motor. It's never been used. Perfect. Da da dee 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 dee. Dee dee dee. Yep. It's been a very funny day. Uh, a very funny day, folks. Really, I'm trying to find where's my fucking green pliers. I can't find them, but I know where another pair of pliers. <coughs> probably fucking, probably fucking at the bastards by mistake. That's one on. Yeah, these top washers are a bit thinner, which is weird. That's that one. And then we've got this one. I think this clip might not be exactly the right one, but it's a different style, but it should still go on. If it doesn't, we'll just crimp it, crimp it a little bit and get it, make it fit. Right, and all we do there is we just that hasn't even gone in. That's gone on the top that I can pull that off. Yeah. It's not even gone out, it's not even fucking gone in. Yeah, that's what I mean. Didn't even go into where it should that. Just close the gap on the clip a little bit because that will have opened it. I'll do it. D D D. Right. That's it. Felt a bit slack, but it's gone in. What I'm going to do, I'm going to just crimp that. There we go. Right. Well, that ain't going to go anywhere. We're in neutral. Get the turntable. Put a drop of oil. drop on the idler there we go now just pop the turntable onto the spigot all the speeds all work it has been checked uh, these two wires here are soldered together I'm not sure why that was done, but I'll have to unsolder them. And this, the, the, that should have 18 volts on it. Now forget the clip, because we shouldn't have to go under there again. 
get the clip and put the clip on there we are put the little center piece on for the uh, large old records there we go that's that and now what I would like to do I can't do it I don't think but I would I would like to shorten this tone arm a little bit now what we need to do we need to mix up some more resin some more epoxy because give this a bit of a clean bit of spit and polish works every time there we go that's it that'll do that's Ooh. mix up a little bit of epoxy only need a little bit I'll do for there for the resin now we need a bit of the hardener uh, the epoxy even and you're supposed to mix them evenly but I tend to use a little bit more of the uh, resin or is it the epoxy? I tend to put a bit more because it seems to it seems to glue only a little bit, not much. Only a tiny bit. There's a little stick in there as well. Get rid of that. There we go. There we go. And what we do now? What we want to do now? What we want to do now, we want to just put around the base of this. We don't want to get any down the hole. Get a bit on them wing things there. Andrew. Who's that? Gary. Oh, come in, Gary. Okay. Yeah, come in, mate. To I told you, come in. Hello, Hang on, let me just stop this fucking video. You've come while I'm doing a video. Well, no, you've been undressed again. No, I'm not undressed. I'm, I'm not. <laughs> uh, no, hang on a minute, Gary. I'll, let me Can just. Sit in please. Yeah, I just I need to stop no, this no, cam no, call. I can't find my remote. There it is. Time, mate. So there you go. Yeah, bear with me, folks. I'm surrounded by a jelly brain. Yeah. Hi, folks. I'm back. I've just had my tea. My mate's just gone. Uh, my mate Gary turned up. Uh, and. Ow! go right so I want to go I want to watch something at 10 o'clock so I want to go and watch them at 10 o'clock so I'm gonna uh, that's in that's in good and tight that uh, the arm the the support for the arm that's in good and tight and I've also put a metal bushing in there as well because there was a bit too much play in this arm so I've put a metal bushing in 
So what we'll do, we'll feed this down here. Yeah, it's been one of those days today, folks. Now what I'm going to do, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to get, just move that oil right. Now what we're going to do here, we're going to get this washer, just rest that on there for a, a second if I can. I'm going to get this washer. I was worrying about how I was going to attach, it, attach this arm permanently. And then I had an idea. Because uh, it was originally fastened to the original mechanism. Using. Using a nut. Using a nut. But. I'm, I'm not doing that because I can't find the original nut. I don't know where it's gone. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put that in there like so. And what I'm gonna do, we're gonna get this nut, we're gonna get this circlip, and we're gonna put this circlip on. And That circle it will do the job. There's a bit of movement in that because we don't want it too tight. We want a bit of movement, which is what we've got, and it can't be pulled out. Right, well, basically, folks, we've got an armrest to put on here. Uh, we've got so let's put this in here now and uh, check everything for fit. I don't think I'm going to have an issue. I might have an issue with the arm and the lid, but I'll work something out for that. But, now, I've got to put the armrest on, but uh, we've got the... We've got the arm done. We've got the mechanism in. The everything there's need to be it doesn't that's not need to come back out. Uh, I'm gonna leave that there for now because I don't want to scratch the paint. Uh, I know we're a bit wonky on the cutting, but that's all right. I can live with that. Might even find a bit of trim that might even go in there. You never know. But uh, I have actually done it so that when the arm's on its rest, it will accommodate a full size 12 inch record. Well near enough which is better than the last uh, better which is better than what the last manufacturer uh, has managed to achieve because a 12 inch record would not fit on the original uh, but yeah that's uh, that's where we're up to now folks I'm gonna leave that there to prevent scratch scratching And uh, I won't be leaving this cartridge in. That's only going to be a test cartridge. Uh, we'll wire this up for mono, obviously. And uh, that's where we're up to. That's where we're up to. We are pretty much... We are pretty much sorted. Yeah. 
anyway I'm gonna leave it there folks because I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna go and watch I'm gonna go and watch what I want to watch uh, it's about a guy building a car from scratch so I like to watch stuff like that and I'm a bit disappointed them screws are on show but if I just before I go whoops if I just get the the trim and I can show you what it's going to look like when I get some double sided tape and stick the stick the trim on let's get that back in there we are and uh, that's the trim it's got to be cleaned up but it will clean up there's no problem with that whatsoever uh, it's going to go there in there like that it's going to go like that and there we go that's how it's going to be looks like there's a wire behind there but I know there isn't well, at least it shouldn't be unless it's one of the motor wires Oh, it's the tone arm wire. Ooh, that was a bit worrying. The speaker wire on this is long enough. Uh, yeah, I got a call off Steve earlier. Goldborn's on on the 7th of November. For those that don't know, you do now. The 7th of November Goldborn is on this year. But I'm really happy with the way this little project build is turning out. I mean... Once we get that stuck on there, it'll tell us what the controls are for. So, you know, uh, if I move that out of the way, it might be, you can't see it really. Can I turn it round? Give you a better look. There you are. There you go. You can't see what they say. Uh, I don't think I can zoom in that far. We'll find out. Yeah, yeah, and that's what they're gonna look like when it's done. And I'm looking forward to playing the very first record on it and uh, seeing what it sounds like. Well, it'll sound like that amp has always sounded like, but you know, in a, in a, it was in a plastic case. It's now in a wooden case. Might have a bit more pep to it. Well, it'll go. Might go a bit louder because I'm putting a four ohm speaker in. Uh, the original was eight ohms, and I don't have an eight ohm speaker to fit there, so it's getting a four ohm, whether it likes it or not. Uh, it's never going to be played at full volume, so it won't make any difference. This is all glued solid. That's not coming off there now. Even if that needed to come off, it ain't coming off. It's glued. <coughs> There's no play in the arm as you can see. Well, very minimal. That's the board moving. But that's that's gonna work really good. That. Anyway, folks, uh, join me. Let join me next time. Whoa. Join me next time when I continue uh, this, which is my hobby. Uh, some people think I run this as a business I don't it's not a business it's a hobby and uh, fuck if I ran this as a business I wouldn't eat uh, and when I refer to people as customers uh, you know that's just yeah uh, you know it just sounds better than calling them well, they're not friends, are they? They're, you know... Some of them do become friends. Like Kevin and Andy and... Uh, a few others, you know. I won't go through everybody. Uh, but, uh, you know, the some people do become friends. You do befriend some of them. Uh, 
you know and uh, yeah that's fair enough um, you know but uh, yeah you know you know but at the end of the day I don't know whether to I don't know whether to leave the HMV in the lid or to stick this on here look uh, I've got a couple of these I might because it is a fidelity amp and a BSR mech so I might uh, I might do that and see how many people ridicule me for it yeah but I think that I think that motor board looks good uh, I think it looks very good the motor board I'm, I'm happy with that and as I say any of the mistakes I made they're well under they're well out of the way you can't see them so you know but I, 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 you know I mean I did them because I knew I'd hide them anyway I'm gonna leave it there folks join me for the next installment when I wire it all up thanks for watching bye for now